Hello everyone, this is Jason with For Geek Sakes, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do time update routing using Cisco Unity Connection. Uh, basically, this idea came about when a client wanted to route a call from one location to another depending on the time of day. Uh, they had a main number that they've given out and they didn't want to have to train people to, to use one number for um, day shift and then another number for night shift. They wanted uh, the people to learn one number and have it all routed automatically. And that's, a, that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys how to do today inside of Unity. So here is the scenario. This would be the main number. This is the number that everyone knows. And these numbers here are are directly connected to the devices but no one knows them and unity connection sends the call accordingly according to the time of day uh, and quite naturally my first thought was well it'll be easier just to afford the phone calls yourself but she says no it's not a phone it's a fax so that's why we really need to do this because you know you can't manually for analog telephone lines in Cisco so that's where this scenario come comes in so let me just show you guys how to do it. We'll just jump right into it. So the first thing you need to do is to create a CTI route point. That's going to send 5800 to the voicemail box for this. So we're going to, uh, and, and for those of you who do not know how to get there, it is inside of Communications Manager. You're going to go to the device, CTI route point, and it'll take you here. We click on Add New. And most of this information, I've already done it before, so it's cached just to make this video quicker. And I'm just going to fill in the necessary fields. Save. I'm going to add my directory number. Once again, it should already be cached. And, and because I've already done this, 5800 was already created in my system, so it automatically popped up the necessary uh, items but generally when you're creating this brand new you're gonna need to select select your voicemail profile once you select the profile you're gonna wanna hit that checkbox to send it to voicemail so once that's step done we hop over to the unity connection box uh, inside of unity you can actually do this time of day routing with a voicemail box or you can use a system call handler I strongly strongly recommend the Cisco um, the system call handler because using a voicemail box takes up a voicemail license and you're never gonna take um, take voicemail on this. It's just for routing purposes. So um, again, my advice is just to go down to the system call handler because it doesn't require a license to create one of these. So what we're gonna do is click on Add New. Start typing and it should pop up. Admitting facts. That main number was 5800. You're going to put that in here. Hit save. All right. The next thing we're going to do is go to the transfer rule. Now this is going to dictate the extensions that that will be tran that the uh, 5800 is going to get transferred to. So the standard. If we look at the the diagram again. So the standard we want to consider that being the normal business hours. So I will consider 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. normal business hours. So we're going to put 5810 there. And while we're here, the off hours, the after business hours is 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. So that's 5820. So just kind of keep that in your head. So standard is going to, we're going to treat that like normal business hours. And that's going to be the fax machine 5810. All right, we want to uncheck this. This just kind of speeds the process along. Um, because it's a fax machine, this is going to be very important for it not to say wait while I transfer your call, just so the fax machines can connect that much quicker. Even if it was a, a voice call we were setting up, I would still take that out because I just, just don't like for that thing to come on and say, please wait while I transfer your call. Personal preference, but definitely I would recommend it if you're going to do, the, do this with a fax machine, just to get rid of that hit save and we want to go back to the transfer rules and, and again like I said the close is going to be what we consider the after hours now with close greeting you do have to enable them because by default they are disabled so you want to enable it with no end date send it to the extension 5820 this time and again you want to take that checkbox out alright so right now we have it going to 5810 during the day and 5820 after hours. So the next step is to go to the greetings and pretty much do the same thing. 
so for the standard greeting you're gonna do callers hear nothing because we don't want them to hear anything we want them just to route that call right away so we we're not gonna play a message or anything it's, we're gonna put nothing here and then call after greeting you want to send it to the call handler of admitting facts so basically we're sending it to itself for decision making so hit that and play save and you want to do the same thing for the closing greeting just like you did for the closing transfer rule so here and and once again it's disabled by default so you want to do the greeting with no end date play nothing remove that checkbox go after greeting call handler admitting facts and hit save now it's just it just so happens that my admitting fact starts with the A. So when you go down to call handler, you may not be as fortunate as I am just to have it there. You may actually have to click the box and select it. I just don't want to get you get you guys thinking like it's automatically popping up for me. It's not. It just so happens that it's starting with an A and it is the top of the list there alphabetically. So so if I were to do another one and, and I named it Walmart or something, I would have to actually click on this and find the appropriate call handler. So for those of you who are just thinking like oh it automatically popped up, it's not. It's just because it starts with an A. Okay? So with all that being done, we're we're almost finished, but we have to do one very important thing. We have to create the schedule in which the call transfers will follow. So you do you can click on here, view here to manipulate the one that's here, uh, or you can just actually go down to system settings schedules. Uh, I've already kind of created one, so we'll just click on this. I don't think I finished it, so we'll just finish this one out. Uh, let's just start a new one. So we're gonna do admitting facts. Oh, we're not gonna have a holiday schedule. All right. So and we want to on the schedule details. We click add new, and let's just say from Monday through Friday. So we can do active week weekdays. We want it to go from. Let's look at the the little chart here. 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. These are gonna be your open hours. So from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., we want it to go to the 5810. Oh, I have to put a name. Okay. So we see the admitting fax hours are created. Oh, I chose the wrong one. And we see they are created. So now you want to go back to the system call handler and select that schedule. Okay. So what we have done is when someone dials 5800 according to this schedule from the hours of 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday it will ring to 5810 notice we didn't have to do anything with the closed hour because anything else is considered closed so any other time other than the hours of 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. the calls will roll to 5820 so this accomplishes our goal of routing calls and that's all there is to it. Uh, this will work in several different scenarios, um, as many as you can think of. This is be very, very good to know, very handy, useful too, uh, as you guys go out there and configuring networks. So I hope this was very informative to you guys, and I would like to thank you for watching.